Welcome back to this special edition of Profiles in Caring and our conversation with Larry H. Miller, a true example of how one man's leadership and influence can so positively inspire everyone's path he crosses. <laughs> Folks inside the jazz organization like to say they're like one big family, and that means the whole family gives back too. In the Four Corners region of Utah, Jazz wives give their time to make sure the children have a good Christmas. We started by just going down, putting some things that jazz wives would donate, new jazz things, and we throw them in the back of our car and go down with Roland Hall kids and distribute things. And then it got so that we actually began to raise money and go down. Now we go down twice a year, once to the schools, because we feel that education is the way that you, you elicit change, positive change. And so we go to the schools and take school supplies down in the fall, and then we go back at Christmas, taking Christmas to families, Christmas presents to children, and individual sub for Santa families out on the reservation. That became her kind of pet charity, if you will. And we've had some really nice letters. Some of them have been about, uh, in, in terms of what the culture of the Navajos are, and how this is, speaks about friendship and, and transcending cultures and different things just just some really nice experiences but uh, it's it, every time somebody gets involved in that or other things like it uh, sometimes where they don't want to go where they kind of get drug along because of the spouse of somebody who's actively doing it without exception they come back absolutely hooked on it and can't wait to do it again next year The scenery is breathtaking, the red rocks of southern Utah dusted with the fresh winter snow, the Valley of the Gods, the mittens of Monument Valley. This is home to the Navajo Nation, the largest Native American culture in the United States. But for all the rugged beauty of southern Utah, this is not fertile ground. There are thousands of Navajo who live here on the reservation in extreme poverty. It's very difficult. The poverty rate down here is about 50 percent, so it is significant. In order for them to exist, there has to be a great sense of community and caring, uh, of people taking care of people, and I think that's what the beautiful appeal is. Navajo Santa began 16 years ago with Kenneth Maryboy, a spiritual leader of the community, dressing up as Santa and delivering candy to the children on the reservation. Now he has a lot more help. You know, I really, really appreciate the ladies from the north. The Sirens of the San Juan, students and teachers from Roland Hall St. Mark's, Ann Johnson and Linda O'Connor of the Utah Jazz, and Cheryl Noble of Larry H. Miller Charities are all here to lend a hand for the huge giveaway on the reservation. I never knew that um, this was going to be this big. Food, clothing, toys, axes and shovels for the elderly. 500 people benefited from the giveaway. I was giving out the toothbrushes and toothpaste, not very exciting, you know, and they were thrilled. I mean, that, that really is the true meaning of Christmas when it's not something, it's not material. In my entire life, I never did imagine that it was going to be this big. Hi, Merry Christmas. Is this for you? Oh, look at that. Sometimes you focus on the happiness of one child or the smile of an elderly woman. Merry Christmas! Yeah. Show us your trick. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh, awesome! Yeah. All right. yeah. Yay! Woo. Girls rock! Yeah. Merry Christmas! But it doesn't stop with one project. Coaches and players' wives and players themselves also spend countless hours in the community. One of the major recipients is the Ronald McDonald House. One of uh, uh, the jazz players, Andre Karolinko, um, donated all the DVD players for here last year. It gives back a hundred times more than I give to it. It's, um, first of all, it, they need volunteers. Um, most They only have, I think, five full-time employees that work here that run three houses. 
and so um, they need the the volunteers um, plus you're just a part of it you're part of everything you, you, there's nothing that you're not a part of 